Archon hunts are new fun weekly activity added with the Veilbreaker update. In today's video, your lovely host, the Gaming Weasel, which is of course me, is going to be explaining what these are, what rewards do you get, how to complete these missions as fast as humanly possible, and of course, what weapons and warframes should you use. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Of course, you would, wouldn't click on this video if you weren't. And also, if you know, like the content, like my voice, like the gameplay and the colors in the background, leaving a like and a subscribe would be greatly greatly appreciated so let's get right into this archon hunts are gonna be three stage missions with the third mission ending with the archon hunt itself and the first two being totally random missions like let's say survival and exterminate so basically sorties uh, at the, the end of this hunt you will get a guaranteed archon shard and depending on of course what kind of archon it is for boreal it is going to be azure which is this week uh, for archon anira we have ember shard for Archon Amar, we have Crimson Shards. You can also get a Tau Forged one, which has a 20% chance of dropping. So these are going to be guaranteed drops. Now the random drop table is on the screen right now. Honestly, pretty pretty cool rewards. I nothing to write home about, but good. It, and I guess nonetheless. So these missions start off at the 100 and level level 130 enemies at mission 1 and ending with the third mission with enemies level 150. Now the enemies health and shields will scale off of the people that you have in your lobby. So you have four people, the enemies uh, health and shields will be increased by 300% and also this is not, I guess, people dependent, but the Eximus uh, spawn rate has been increased inside of these mission times as well. So keep this in mind, there's a couple of little, I guess, knickknacks that you have to keep in mind. Uh, you cannot revive in these missions, you cannot self-revive, uh, and also everything in your gear wheel will have a 3 minute cooldown. Now on a weekly rotation, one Warframe will have a 300% ability strength bonus and a 500 health, and every single week, 3 different melee uh, sorry, melee, secondary, and primary weapons will have a 300% damage boost. So that is very, very cool. So if you don't have that Warframe, or if you don't like using him, or that weapon, what are you going to do? Well, first of all, have to keep in mind that nothing, basically, no armor stripping ability and no, I guess, uh, imp like, for example, impact procs and uh, armor reduction procs and armor reduction is out of the window on the Archons. It does not work. The only thing that the Archons are weak against is going to be radiation. So what Warframes should I use? Well, Wukong with Zata's Whisper instead of his fourth is going to be really cool and is going to allow you to finish the mission really fast. Revenant with Roar instead of his fourth ability. Neja, same thing. And then we have Anoros with Roar, I guess, I, I think I have him with my second ability, yes. And uh, basically, anything with Zato's Whisper and or Roar is going to be really good. The damage buffing abilities, of course, work on you, not on, on the enemy. So that is always going to be really cool. Weapons. Primary, I would only recommend you use the Fenmore. If you don't have it, try to get it as hard as you possibly can. You get it in the Zeramon. It is an amazing weapon. I have tried AOE weapons. I have tried other uh, projectile weapons. They do not work and they are not as efficient as the Fenmore is. The secondary, Catch Moon or Latum. Those two are really good. And for melee weapon, the Strofal or Redeemer could be pretty good as well. Because otherwise, if you don't use one of those two melee weapons, melee weapons are pretty much useless in this game mode. So... The third mission is the one that we're going to be focusing on, because that is the one where the Archon Hunt is. I'm playing Revenant in the gameplay in the background, as you can see. And what should you do, and how does this work? Well, Boreal, in this case, has a little bit of a special ability, which we'll explain in just a second. First things, you spawn, go to the checkpoint, you will fight Boreal, uh, and he will try to repel you away with his blue sphere of death or I guess pushiness Bas basically an like, almighty push from Naruto if you want that so basically you have to interrupt him by getting really really close shooting him or doing a melee slam on him and then interrupt him and just do damage with the Fenmore and or Latum that is going to be your best option uh, he will spawn Aerolist I think that is the enemy's sentient name uh, and they have a little red 
I guess, sort of glass barrels around their waist, shoot those with either the Catch Moon or Latum, uh, and basically destroy those, you will kill the Aerolists, and then shoot at the Boreal as much as you possibly can, activate War or Zada's Whisper, and just do damage to Boreal, kill him, and basically, I guess not kill him, but bring him down to half HP, and then he will teleport away, run away like a little wuss he is, you will have to chase him, and then once you get to a certain point, you will be, you know, confronted by a red door, an ominous red door, with two statues on the left and the right side of that door. A and B points will spawn, don't worry, it's not spy. Uh, you will go to either one of those points, it doesn't really matter which, I guess, orient not orientation, but which, uh, you know, way you go, you can go to B first if you want to. There will be a priest there, I call him a priest, I actually don't know what the enemy type is called, uh, which you have to kill and collect as helmet. And now, uh, you have to keep in mind, if there's enemies nearby, that priest he will attach himself basically like link and then you have to kill those enemies and then you can kill the priest collect his helmet bring to one of the two statues rinse and repeat with a and or b depending on which one you did first the door will open up you will be able to fight boreal and basically rinse and repeat do the same thing that you did in stage one and then uh, just keep in mind if he does summon uh, like a pyramid of electrical energy shoot the blue orbs i don't think he does in the gameplay but uh, if he does i'll try to you know sync this up uh, so shoot those and then shoot him kill him i guess assassinate him and leave the mission and that is basically it that is the archon hunt itself pretty much plain and simple nothing really hard uh, the last mission you can pretty much complete especially if you're playing wukong you can complete in around three four minutes five minutes like i would say four four and a half minutes is gonna be like the average time if you're not really that hard try harding now i would upload i guess better gameplay but my error lists were having a rave, I don't know why, every time I shot them, they were going up and down, up and down, up and down, I had no idea why they did that, I think that's a glitch, but uh, pretty much other than that, this mission should be pretty easy to do, and without any issues. So if you guys did enjoy, of course, the video, I would love it if you guys could leave a like, a comment, and do subscribe for more content, and I will see you guys on the next one. This has been the Gaming Weasel, over and out.